Hello everyone, welcome to a very special edition of Collector Wrestlepalooza. I want to read you something from the seller of this item. During the heyday of WWWF wrestling, at the time I had an extra W, I had the opportunity to have three of my original photos published in Wrestling Review Magazine, and that I also was a correspondent for them and provided results from matches that I attended on the East Coast. For someone who was only 16 years old at the time, it was a great opportunity. Those were great years, and I never had the pleasure of meeting Monsoon or Kowalski, but I did meet San Martino, Tanaka, Danucci, Bull Ortega, and a few others. Nothing against wrestling of this day and age, but back in the day, there was more unpredictability around the matches, and the fans truly believed it was all very real, and don't even think about it being scripted. Thanks again. This is an amazing eBay seller. I've had the opportunity to buy a few items from him, I'm going to contact him after posting this video and see if he wants me to post a link uh, in the description. Uh, I've had the opportunity to open one of those items already. It was an amazing vintage flyer from the 1960s wrestling. Uh, had uh, some of the all-time greats. Killer Kowalski was featured on it, which is why I purchased it. And it was extremely inexpensive, packed with care. Uh, you could tell that, that this was memorabilia from someone who loved the sport. And one of the great things about it was that when I opened it, it was as if it had come right out of his closet. It, it, it was untouched and uh, from one owner. It wasn't a piece of memorabilia that had been passed around uh, through eBay sellers throughout its life. So I've purchased another package from him and I've waited to open it until I could get it on video. And here it goes. Now the first package he definitely handled with care. It was very nicely secured in the envelope, so I want to be very careful when I open this. And I do not recall exactly what I purchased, but I know that it was a number of amazing items, including an original photograph. So I apologize if this takes a little bit of time for me to get it open, but I'm going to do it right to make sure that I don't disturb the contents. My plan is in my memorabilia room in my house, I'm going to be framing a number of these items. I used to actually work as a custom framer. I'm gonna to go to that frame shop and I'm going to have them uh, make either one or two framed pieces, perhaps in a collage of all of these amazing pieces. These are not gonna be for sale. These are for my own PC because they're just such awesome items. And I, I, I truly connected with the seller and, and felt like it was a great experience to be able to receive his items directly from his collection. Just a great story in, in, in wrestling, uh, the wrestling hobby. Now I got back into collecting wrestling recently, maybe about a year ago, right after the pandemic, although I guess we're still in the pandemic at this time. But corresponding with him made me realize why people do this. This was a, 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 an, a way for me to connect to someone from the industry that I never would have had this connection or experience if I hadn't started collecting again. There's a, a very nice note in here, thank you, please open everything carefully, of course I will. Um, all items are very well protected. I also enclose the two original envelopes that I found. He had uh, promised me he was going to include some, some freebie uh, envelopes that were original to the era. I can't wait to see them. These are great. Very nicely packed, thank you. going to display the items one at a time along the back here as I look at them. He puts them in their own envelope and then puts cardboard around the item itself. Now I remove the cardboard. I'm not going to leave the cardboard on the item when it goes into my PC because this is not acid free. This would damage the item. Look at this. Wrestling Stars big photo album now out price $1. All your favorite stars, Ed Carpenter, Vic Rivera, Bruno Sammartino, Fabulous Moolah, plus more. 
All-Star Wrestling Company of Cambridge. And this is a flyer. Now, apparently back in the day, if you got on their mailing list, they would mail you the individual flyers, and this is what a lot of it is. This one actually folds open. Some of them are meant more for display or, or now for framing. This one will be something that I perhaps open every once in a while just to remember. Professor Toro Tanaka. And he did mention that some of the advertisements were upside down, but that's actually how it was printed back in the day. A single staple through the middle. Be very careful. Now, what I like about this is these bouts were advertised as if they were real wrestling bouts, and they are real wrestling bouts, but it looks like a boxing match almost, the way that it's presented. Wrestling program. This was in Orwisburg, Pennsylvania on September 29th, 1967. Auspices of Keystone Wrestling Club. Ray Fabiani is the promoter and the program is subject to change without prior notice. The main event, Professor Turo Tanaka versus Spiros Arion. 20 minute bouts, this gorilla monsoon, as we all know is the famous WWE, WWF commentator now, but he was also a wrestler. Hans Mortier versus Arnold Skoland, and Bull Ortega versus Smasher Sloan. this back in its envelope. Next item. Again, I'll just discard this uh, cardboard because it is not acid free. The word you want to look for is archival. If you're ever putting your memorabilia into envelopes or anything plastic, if it says archival, you know it's good. Acid free doesn't always mean that it's going to be protected, but archival does. Look at this. An original flyer program, Tarzan Tyler versus Pedro Morales. Special event, Chief J. Strongbow versus Stan Stasiak. Jimmy Valiant, we all know him. And Beautiful Bobby, look at that. That's a, a very, very early Beautiful Bobby versus Victor Rivera. Tickets on sale now. Anyone that's interested in going, reserved seats are $5. And there was the envelopes in here. I know there was also a ticket. I want to make sure that I don't miss that. I'll go back through the packaging if I don't find it on the first run here. And that's a great Bruno San Martino shot. Folks that knew Bruno San Martino say that he was one of the greatest human beings. He was not only an amazing wrestler, but also a very nice person. And I can imagine that. He was one of the first true legends of the sport. Here's another Gorilla Monsoon. What else do we have on here? I don't recognize too many of the other names. Of course, Bruno. Rocky Fitzpatrick, I'll have to look him up. On to the next one. How exciting is this? Now, to me, this is worth the money. It's worth its weight in gold. I would so much rather have this trip down wrestling history than buy a, uh, a 2020 Topps card for, for 10 or $15. I'd much rather have a 1950s flyer. Let's see what else we have. Excuse me, 1960s flyer. Another Bruno San Martino. There we go. Special match, my favorite, Killer Kowalski. I'm a Polish man myself, and Killer Kowalski, just his presence in the ring was nothing that they, they, they mimic today. He looked like a truly scary, scary man the way that he would, would roam around the ring. 
Now we're going to see a lot of the same names as this was all from the same uh, same territory, so the stars are going to be similar. Okay, here we go. The photo and the ticket, plus two original mailing envelopes enclosed. I'm going to open up this envelope very, very carefully. I don't want to damage anything. that the seller here loves these items. It just emanates from the objects. Really the, the best buying experience I've had on eBay. Okay, looks like I got all the items. Here are the original envelopes. I'm not going to show the addresses because I don't want folks to, to see that, but you can see, see here that those are from the Keystone Wrestling Association. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here's a ticket. Look at that. Philadelphia, color wrestling, probably because it's not in black and white on TV, huh? Presented by the Keystone Wrestling Club, November 9th, 1971. Admit one. And here we have the photo. This is original photos. As I mentioned on the message, he was actually a photographer for the Wrestling Review. So this is an original photograph. I believe there's at least one Hall of Famer in here. This is back when it was WWWF, World Wide Wrestling Federation, I believe, if I remember correctly. Oh, I wasn't sure how big these would be. That's amazing, the intimacy in that picture. That's beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to open them. Nicely packed. They're in top loaders, it looks like. Okay. Let me see if I can read the descriptions on the back. That's a 1967 photo. I believe this is the Hall of Famer. I'm going to have to look up these folks. Skisaluna. I'm sure I'm butchering that pronunciation. And another wrestler from the time. So as I said, these are not for sale. These are all going into my personal collection. I feel very blessed to have found this seller and to, to see these amazing artifacts from the sport of professional wrestling. If you like this con content, please be sure to, to like this video. Even better, uh, subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting uh, one video a week from the Wrestling Card Hobby. Thank you very much.